Hey guys, it's uh, Ryan here again with another t tutorial for you guys. This is going to be a Photoshop layer style tutorial. And so uh, we're going to be um, going into a uh, making something like this. Uh, let me show you. We're going to be making something just like this. This layer style right here um, on the Maniac. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go up into Photoshop and we're going to make a new document. So um, yeah, make it 1280 by 720 or whatever you want. I don't care. That's what I always make it because I can adjust it to whatever I want. And uh, we're just going to call this layer style. Okay. And um, here we go. So uh, grab your text. Um, the font I'm going to use is called Stereo Funk, just for now, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to type Ryan. All right. Actually, I don't really like that font. I'm going to use. Bitsumishi, just in case you guys are wondering. Alright, and I'm going to type Brian. Okay. Now, um, you can do this with any color you want, but I'm just going to show you what color I'm going to use with blue. So, what we're going to go ahead and do is, once you have your text layer, go ahead and uh, rasterize your type. And then you're going to go to an effects, and you're going to go to um, gradient overlay. And uh, what you're going to do is basically make your first gradient, I'm going to make mine a uh, dark blue like uh, like that, and then my uh, second color is going to be, oops, no, I don't want that, whatever, it's not working very well, I'm going to make it a, uh, a lighter blue like that, alright, and uh, then what we're going to do is go and do this stroke, and we're going to have it three pixels, and we're going to make the stroke type, um, the uh, fill type is going to be a gradient. And now what we're going to do with this is we're going to go into here and uh, on, your, on one end make it uh, kind of a lighter gray, like that. And then on the other end we want to have the uh, same kind of light gray. Just kind of like that. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, it looks fine. And then, uh, actually, you know, make it a little bit lighter. We want it to be a little bit... We want it to be kind of on the light side. Like that. Uh, and like... We want it to be kind of like that. You know, maybe make it a little bit lighter over here, too. Not too light. And then in the uh, middle, we're going to be doing it. We're going to uh, click click once here, and then click once here, and in the middle, click another time, and in the middle we're going to do black, alright? And now this gives us that nice metal effect, that kind of shiny effect, and you can drag this out more if you want, drag these out. So we got a gray here, a gray here, a black in the middle, and a gray here, and a gray here, and now this looks really nice. So that's, um, that's the first part of it, um, and okay. And now in our gradient, it's not really popping out too much, so um, I'm going to turn the gradient scale down a little bit. And uh, that looks good. I'm just going to make this a little bit darker. I like that. Eh. Like that. That's, uh, that's fine. Hit OK. And the scale, bring it up to 90. OK, so next what we're going to do is we're going to go to Bevel and Emboss. All right. And um, what you're going to do is change the... Uh, the opacity on the shading down to zero. All right, and uh, the contour right here, the gloss contour, you're gonna change to um, which one was it? You're gonna change to the rolling slope. Okay, That's, you can use the rolling slope, or you can also um, the one I might have used is um, the cone. The cone uh, deep is a good one as well, um, or uh, the rolling slope, so cone deep um, or rolling slope, either one. I'm going to use cone deep for this, alright, and then I'm going to change the size just to uh, about 4 and soften it up a little bit, alright, just a little bit, yeah. And then the depth, uh, the depth doesn't really matter that much. Um, you can change the depth to about 100%, 200%, and uh, that's good for now. So the contour, um, you don't really need contour. So what we're going to do is um, 
we're going to get an uh, outer, we're going to get a, a drop shadow, alright? And now for this chop shadow, we're going to uh, change the distance to zero, and the size is going to go up a little bit like that. And um, what we're going to do here now is we're going to take the um, we're going to take the contour and we're going to change it. Um, there's multiple ones. I mean, you can use this um, ring double. You can use a ring. Um, the best ones are ring and ring double. That's the ones I use the most. But um, whatever feels comfortable to, for you, um, I think ring double is the best. And then bring the uh, size down like that. And now we've got this nice little 3D effect coming on here. And um, yeah, um, see that without the bevel and boss, it still looks pretty cool. So the bevel and boss is just a nice little touch you can throw in there. But um, as you see, it's just like this. Um, I might have had a different bevel and emboss, so what you can do is go back into the bevel and emboss and just uh, change the uh, you know the mode up a little bit. I think I had this one on. Maybe I had a. Uh, I think I had yeah. I had the uh, cone inverted. So um, yeah. So thanks guys. Uh, this has been a little layer style tutorial. Um, and remember, feel free to mess uh, with whatever you like. I like uh, these settings and uh, this is just kind of a layer styles tutorial f for you guys and um, yeah you can use this in your speed arts, you can use this in um, anything you want to do you know put a nice gradient in the background here just like a you know feel free to do whatever you want and um, remember guys to uh, subscribe and uh, rate this video yeah, however you feel you should rate it. So thanks, guys, and um, check around. Uh, stick around for my giveaway. It's gonna be uh, ending at 500 subscribers, and uh, yeah. So thanks, guys, for watching. I'm kind of tired, and uh, see ya.